start with a really, really interesting game, and that is the Chiefs minus three at the Saints. Kansas City is 12 and one, six, six and one against the spread. New Orleans 10 and three, seven and six against the spread. Now, the last time the Chiefs covered a game against the spread was November 1st against the Jets. They have not been great. And I'll, this is something I've been thinking about quite a bit this week. Are the Chiefs bored? Are they not maybe as good as we think they are? And we're just enamored with Mahomes, Andy Reid? Or are teams just playing them tough? And then this is not a sign of things to come. And they're not going to cover, but they're going to win a lot of games. I think they are playing with fire a little bit. And I think this point spread speaks volumes. We're not exactly sure what's going to happen with Drew Brees. So it could be Taysom Hill. And I don't know if it necessarily changes my opinion on this game all that much because I don't necessarily think if Brees plays, he's going to come back and be explosive Brees. He's played well in spurts, but still coming off a big injury, hasn't played in a while. I still think you'd see a conservative game plan. Here's what jumps out to me, though, in, in this game. The Saints obviously lose uh, last week, but here's what the defense has done in terms of output from the opposition the last couple of games. Three points, 13 points, nine points, three points, 16 points, 24 points. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. Like it's kind of an odd anomaly there, but that's pretty good. I think this defense is one of the better stories of the year. I think it's one of the least talk about things. I'll, I'll go to this as I look at this game. Um, I like the under, whether Breeze plays or not. And I think I, I would want to know that before I make a pick on the side, I'd lean towards the Saints, not a Chiefs hater, but I'd lean towards the Saints. And I just think this is an under game. I'm thinking in that, you know, 20 to 17. I, I don't think, I mean, we expect massive explosiveness from the Chiefs. And the one thing about picking an under in the Chiefs game is like they can do it at any time. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case here. I think that New Orleans last week ran into Jalen Hurts, probably was not preparing. And I think you're going to see this defense uh, turn back into one of the best defenses in the NFL, which again, I don't think they've got the appropriate credit for. By the way, Marcus's pick, he's, he's with the Chiefs. Want to get Marcus's pick out there? Not not here today. I can't do his commentary. Um, he'd probably say something glowingly about Patrick Mahomes. I don't know, right, Marcus? I'm sure he'd throw in some some far more uh, impressive ex, uh, statistics and other information that Marcus likes the Chiefs. So Eagles at Cardinals, minus six, over under 49 and a half. Marcus has the Eagles with the points. So Marcus is buying, buying the Jalen Hurts hype. He has not said that to me. But if you're going to do this, you're going to assume that what you've seen from Jalen Hurts is what you're going to get. So Arizona seven and six, six and seven against the spread. Philly four, eight and one, five and eight against the spread. The Eagles had lost four in a row until they beat the Saints. Jalen Hurts, as we mentioned, 167 yards passing, 106 yards rushing, one touchdown, uh, no sacks. So concern I have in that game, talked about this in the winners and losers video this week. Big first half. Not a particularly great second half, um, which is you're going to expect to see adjustments here. I still think the accuracy is an issue. I think his escapability is going to help out a lot here for a pretty athletic defense, but I expect we'll see a regression. So my pick in this game is the Cardinals. Cardinals got right against the Giants. That offense has still not looked completely right. I don't necessarily think it has to be here. I think this will be a very similar game to what we saw last week. Was that 24 to 6? I think you'll see kind of a similar output. Uh, Eagles will probably get a few more points. Let's call it 24 13. I like the Cardinals here. I think it's a good spot. Jalen, I'm I want you to do well. Uh, I think you will do well. It just may take some time to get there. Seattle minus five at the Washington football team. Over under in this is 44 and a half. That's an interesting total. Marcus, by the way, has Seattle to cover. Um, I'm going to be on the over, under in this game. Excuse me. It's probably an omen that it's not going to cover now, but I am on the under in the game, and here's why. Uh, Seattle, by the way, 9-4, and 7-6 against the spread. Washington, 6-7, and seven, and 7-5, seven, and 1 against the spread. Uh, so Seattle crushes the Jets. Congratulations. Thank you, Seattle, for getting us one step closer to Trevor Lawrence. That game was gross. It was over in the first quarter. Um, the Jets were really bad. I thought Seattle's defense played better. Uh, I thought the offense played well, but I still think that this offense is just not what we saw earlier in the year. As a Russell Wilson fantasy owner, uh, I can tell you it's not because it's just not, there just hasn't had that same sync that it once did. Uh, Washington is on a bit of a run. 
four and L, four and L against the spread uh, in the last four, uh, three road games that they played. Um, the Alex Smith injury to the calf uh, and, and his status is a bit up in the air, uh, makes this one tough to me. And it's more, it, I'm more prone to make this an under game as a result of that. I think Seattle's going to cover in this game most likely. I'm thinking, I'm thinking in that 27-10 range. I just don't know where that Washington offense is going to come from. But I really, really like this defense. It's not just Chase Young. But go back and watch the play where he just sort of scoops up the football and just runs with it naturally. A man that big should not move that well. I said that in Winners Losers video. Um, I just love what I've seen from him, even if the statistics haven't been there. Texans at Colts. I laughed because I'm looking at Marcus Pick, Philip Rivers. He did not. Texans at Colts, minus seven, over, under 51. Of course, Philip Rivers, fan favorite on the show. Marcus is going with the under. He can't, he just can't do it. I'm sure when he put in his picks, he was thinking, I just have to stay strong, not pick, pick Philip Rivers. He did. I am taking the Colts. Uh, got off the Philip Rivers bandwagon a couple of weeks, got off at the right time. Uh, I'm ready to get back on now. Indy is nine and four, eight and five against the spread. Houston, uh, four and nine and four and nine against the spread. These two teams played a couple of weeks ago. You had that weird fumble play. Texans were in line to really win that game. And then they get absolutely destroyed, absolutely destroyed by the Bears. Just collective yikes all around. Indy beats the Raiders uh, 44-27. I still like this offense. Um, the Indy defense Maybe not as good as it was a month ago when we were talking about this being one of the best in the NFL, but I still think it's good enough. And I just think offensively, Indy's going to be able to overwhelm the Texans. And here's the other thing. If you're the Texans, you've got a couple weeks left. The season is bleeding out. You're coming off this inexplicable, uh, you know, four-plus touchdown loss to the Bears. Uh, I'm not in a position to question the psyche of an NFL team or NFL players. And whenever you bet against Deshaun Watson, you are tempting it. But I'm going to do it here. I just don't think that's a loss that you bounce back from. Maybe it's just one game. Uh, maybe it's not. Either way, it's enough to sway me. And plus, it's Philip Rivers. Like, this is a, a matter of pride at this point. And at 1911, it has worked. 